Alright, hello YouTube. I'm coming back today with uh, another video in my uh, video series. Um, just a quick note, I, I have a new camera, you know, uh, so I have to upgrade a little bit for my videos. So hopefully the quality is a little better in the audio, in the video and in the audio. I have two documents. Uh, I want to talk about duck hunting today because in one of my previous videos when I was out fishing on the uh, wildlife refuge, I was talking about how, you know, it's a lot of regulations that go along with hunting ducks. And um, I have from the South Carolina website, you know, you can go online and look it up. This the regulatory booklet just for duck hunting, you know, then they might have a booklet for uh, deer, you know, big game hunt, deer, upland game, rabbit, squirrel, so forth. And this here is a printout of the regulations from 2012-2013 season for uh, Tucks and Research Refuge. And remember, uh, pretty much all the waterfowl regulations are uniform throughout the states because uh, they're generally regulated federally. Like, and I'll go back and explain that uh, many officers, game wardens for most states, they are cross dep uh, like they're, they're cross deputies for the federal uh, government. So your state game warden, he can enforce uh, federal law on, like, say, for example, a state park where you're hunting ducks at. So they have like an agreement as, as such. And many. Uh, Federal uh, wardens can enforce state law in the states they they happen to be in. Um, now, with duck hunting, I'm gonna th this here is uh, how many pages? 40, 49 pages, just for duck hunting. This is all it is: migratory birds. Uh, and generally that applies to, say for example, geese, uh, snipe, um, wood ducks, but, you know, birds of that type, uh, grouse, you need, and let me explain, you know, it's so many stamps and uh, licenses that you need for uh, duck hunting that, you know, I've read the regulations, you know, it's, you know, I don't consider myself to be the most uh, unintelligent guy, you know, but, you know, reading through all the duck, duck regulations, it's just like you ask yourself, is it worth it to go duck hunting? So I turn, I flip the page uh, 19. Now this here generally applies throughout all the states, whether you're hunting ducks in Maryland or in, uh, Virginia or South Carolina, whatever is the case. And listen, it says right here, a waterfowl hunter must, a uh, waterfowl hunter 16 years of age or older must carry a valid, in this case, um, South Carolina annual migratory waterfowl permit. That's a state, state, state waterfowl stamp. You need a valid federal duck stamp that you can po uh, purchase at your post office for $15 or you know you can order them online a valid South Carolina migratory bird permit no cost endorsement on their license and you need one of the following hunting license like a resident you know a regular hunt license that like lets you hunt deer and so forth now I uh, go back out to Maryland for example in Maryland you need a regular hunt, a regular hunting license for twenty-four dollars and fifty cents. You need the federal duck stamp for fifteen dollars. You need the Maryland state migratory bird stamp, I believe, is nine dollars. Then you need to have your HIP card. You know that's the Harvest Information Program that's run by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So you need all these documents on you just before you even step foot in the field. You need all those documents on you. And when you are, let me back up. I was, I error. When you are hunting, you are required to have some type, some form of photo ID on you. So you need a driver's license, passport, whatever may be the case. 
So really five items. And if I scroll down, uh, that's just in Maryland. But here in South Carolina, it goes on even more that in addition to those stamps and endorsements, all those stamps that I just went over for Maryland, you're general, generally required to have all those in most states. You know, all four of those, you know. Um, also, in the state of South Carolina, depending on where you hunt, you can ha also have to buy another license or stamp for the wildlife management area that you're hunting in. So that's really another fee or another tax on top of all that. Remember now, you have to go and get your shotgun, you have to buy non-toxic shells, um, then you have to go uh, purchase fuel, all, all this stuff, travel costs, I mean it's just piling on and on and on and on and on. Then when you're hunting ducks, part of the regulation, you're going to have three shots in your shotgun. Um, sometimes like for example in the state of Maryland you have distances that are required for you to be say a certain distance from uh, a home like if you're hunting in the river you have to be a certain distance out in the river to be far away from a, a, a shoreline home or residence um, I mean like I say I take my hat off to the guys that hunt ducks you know because they got the show on uh, a and E, you know, Duck Dynasty, you know, those guys are avid duck hunters, you know, like I say, you know, I'm not knocking my fellow hunters, you know, I'm just saying duck hunting's not my cup of tea due to all the red tape involved with it. Uh, also, something that's interesting to note, you know, so after you do all this that you've done, right, you, you have to uh, get all your stamps, license, uh, hip card, all that information, you know, your wildlife management permit. You go out into the field, you have to make sure the field's not baited with corn or any type of grain like that. And then they have this ambiguous system of determining, okay, is this manipulated grain or does this count as normal harvest practices? And I mean, if you make a mistake like this, it can cost you literally thousands of dollars. Game warden can come arrest you, seize your firearm, seize any type of game you got. I mean, it, it, you know, duck hunting, you know, really is a... Uh, it, it, it really is an endeavor, you know, for people that, you know, can put up with a lot of BS, you know, from the, the government, I would say. And it goes on to say possession limit, you know, you have to have each duck uh, tagged. You have to have them in, each hunter has to have his duck in a separate pile. Uh, it, it goes on and on and on, you know. So, I mean... Any of those hunters out there, you know, I mean, I'm more than willing to, you know, have some feedback and comments, you know, your thoughts on is duck hunting too regulated? You know, is it overregulated? Is it too burdensome for the, you know, hunter to get out there and try to hunt, you know? And remember now, some ducks, I, even in this booklet here, I want to say real quick before it cuts off, some ducks, the possession limit is one duck. You know, you have to. You, it, it's difficult, you know, you have to be able to identify ducks that are, say, 25 yards, 30 yards away because you don't want to go over limit. You have to shoot a certain gen, uh, 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 gender or species. I mean, you know, one mistake and, you know, it could cost you literally hundreds of dollars in fines and all this types of stuff. But, yeah, so this here is the uh, duck hunting uh video I decided to do with the new camera test out the quality and uh, this here is the federal with the tux and research refuge their hunt regulations like I told you before I don't hunt deer up there it's way too over regulated up there all right I'm gonna cut off and I'll come back hopefully with some more videos in the future